What's going on everybody? Today we're back on Pokemon Showdown and today we're going to be playing some nice NU suspect tests. I actually completely forgot what we're even suspect testing, but I pretty much just adapted this team from uh, a team on the forums and uh, I wanted to play NU just because I kind of felt like it and because Charizard has dropped down and I wanted to use a nice and clean SD set. So we're going to get right into this. Basically I built some nice and uh, Nice and cool balance, well, sort of built. It's, most of this is already adapted from something that was uh, on the forums. I put Charizard over Magmortar, Musharna over Mesper, I think. That's about it. So if this team, he honestly gets destroyed by a Sceptile. This is a special attacking Sceptile. It just fucking annihilates his team. But then again, I don't know what I'm going to do if he switches in that... Uh... Oh wait, no, I have a Lantern. What am I talking about? Special Defensive Lantern for the Fire types. And I see no reason not to go Sceptile. And just start firing off firing off Leaf Storms. If I'm really um, feeling nice, if he leads Archeops, I can go for the Rock Slide, predicting... Actually, Rock Slide plus Leaf Storm should kill Pyroar, now that I think about it. Yeah, no reason not to just lead off with uh, Sceptile. Uh, the only possible thing you can lead against me with is um, Lilligans, and I do have uh, Charizard, it's kind of a counter. Uh, they usually carry HP Fire, not HP Rock, in this tier, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they Actually, they might carry HP Rock for Magmortar and stuff like that. So, um, this is an easy switch into my Lantern, I can just Volt Switch out. Uh, so he goes for the Will-O-Wisp, not a big deal because I do have Heal Bell. And now I can just Volt Switch out because he's not going Golurk. Like, if I Scald here and he goes Golurk, then this guy is just bad. He has to go Lilligan. Yep, that's what I thought. Um, free Switch into Charizard. Lilligan is slower. And, well, what is his counter to this? I honestly just... Uh, actually, I'm going to fire off a Flare Blitz. Uh, just in case he goes Archeops. Yep. That does a decent amount of damage. And now I can go to Steelix, lay up my Rocks. Either that or just... He goes, he goes for Stone Edge. Okay, interesting, interesting. Rox is really important for me because he has no Defog. And it pressures uh, Pyroar. Pretty much just his entire team. The Lilligan takes damage upon coming in. Alright, so he goes Samurott. I don't really have a counter for this other than Lantern. Honestly. Uh, I'm going to make an aggressive play and just hard switch into Sceptile in case he wants to... Yup, that's, that's what I was talking about. Um, Giga Drain should kill. I am Life Orb. Oh my god, why? I should have gone for Leaf Storm. God damn it. Now I have nothing for this. Um, well, I can just go for Mock Punch here. Knock this out. I should be faster. These things don't usually run that much speed. Damn, Sceptile just ran through his team. I'm so dumb. Should have gone for Leaf Storm. Luckily though, this is Assault Vest, so I can take anything that this Lilligan wants to throw at me. And uh, just go for... I'm gonna go for, an, for a Mock Punch, just in case he puts me to sleep. Oh, no, he just goes for, goes for Pedal Dance. Alright. Uh, wow, this is that's strong. Must be adamant. Yeah, let's go for another Mock Punch. And honestly, this, this also just kind of runs through his team. Because Archeops dies after Rocks, if I'm not mistaken. Golur gets hit by that uh, that Ice Punch. And I'm actually going to save this just because it does so well against... <sighs> Do I need to save this? I have Lantern. I guess it could be useful for Pyroar. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Ice Punch. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, calm down! I think the crit did matter. I mean, Golurk doesn't have the best defenses, but uh, it's also not um, its not frail by any means. And I think Musharna just wins the game here. I can just go ahead and call mine up. Usually these run Scarf, so I'm, I'm good right here. Um, but Tom Pass Musharna is just to bait out stuff like, uh, what do you call it, Malamar, because I'm really weak to that. And uh, that's precisely why I have Signal Beam on Lantern. It's like kind of a half measure against it. I really should have, I should have Roar on Steelix instead to, to get that, to get Malamar up out of here. 
So now it's just an easy psychic, and that didn't kill. Okay, interesting. Okay, so he's taunt. That's good to know. Taunt was interesting, but it's not going to matter now because Musharna just runs through his team. Although, um, okay, yeah. If he goes for knockoff, I do have the Culver Berry, so that's not going to do anything. And that did not look like banded damage. Uh, it's mostly probably Scarf. I don't know why he went for a gun shot when he already burned me, but that's going to be a good game. Yeah, nice first game. Um, again, like, the team matchup was in my favor. I have a really nice team, and his team just wasn't really all that prepared for it. He has Roost, which is interesting. Um, yeah, even if he goes for Acrobatics, that doesn't even kill him. Musharna is crazy bulky. Absolutely crazy. And we're going to go ahead and uh, find another one. Ooh, we got an interesting team that Charizard just absolutely runs through. Um, the first priority, I think, is getting rid of the Rotom, because that's most likely Scarf. Um, getting this Zatu up out of here would be nice also. He doesn't have a Stealth Rocker, which means my Charizard just goes absolutely ham on his team. I think I'm just I'm going to lead off of it. As he goes, uh, he goes Cacturn, that's nice. I can just SD up as what did he go for? Dark Pulse? Alright. Um, he's gonna go for Sucker Punch, but I mean, uh, I made a misplay there. Yeah, so he predicts me pretty nicely by going for the Dark Pulse turn 1 to make sure I wouldn't set up. Man, I should have just gone for Acrobatics turn 1. I don't have anything for this. Well, now I have to go for Ice Punch, predicting the predicting the Rotom or the Zatu, which is really whack. I mean, his play is really just go to go to Mantine, which I, at least the good thing is that I can Volt Switch around on his team, as I do a decent chunk to that thing. Okay, so that's definitely Scarf then. At least that's cleared up. That's man, that's actually really bad. I could have um. I mean, it's not like I have trouble with Cacturn, but having my Zard alive would have been really nice, so I fucked up. <laughs> I honestly thought, like, he didn't have a switch in, so that was his play, I should have known. Especially because SD is sort of a common set. And I, is he going to go anytime soon? I mean, his play is either Mantine or I guess Girder is also a play, even though I have Musharna and that beats it. Alright, he goes Mantine. That does, a, that does nothing, honestly. Um, that's a free switch into Lantern. He's gonna Toxic me, yep. But, like, nothing stops me from going for Volt Switch. So, I'm not really too bothered about that. If he stays in, like, this thing doesn't have Roost, thankfully. Otherwise, it would be fucking broken. Uh, yeah, he goes Rotom. That's alright. Um, so, is this a Scarf, huh? Getting rocks up would be nice. I could also, yeah, I'll bait him into Zatu, get some damage on that. I think Steelix beats it. This is offensive Steelix. Or at least it's adamant with a lot of attack investment. He could also Wisp, but he runs the risk of me setting up my rocks. Uh, although he does have a Defogger, so, yeah. Him going into Mantine here would actually be pretty alright, because I could just go for the uh, Toxic. Like, what does this beat? This beats nothing on his team, actually, now that I think about it. It only, it only beats Zatu. And that's if it doesn't have Heat Wave, if it's not offensive. So uh, honestly, I don't mind playing recklessly uh, with this. And I'll go ahead and pause until he makes a move. Oh, okay, he did. Gone. Alright, great. Having that gone is actually pretty fantastic. That means my um, my Sceptile can just go ham on his team now. Oh, I'm not AV. I'm actually um, on Fist Plate. Either way, though, I don't have another Switch, so... Okay, he lays up, lays up Spikes. That's, that's alright. I don't really care too much about that. He's likely going into Zatu or... Mantine right here, so what I'm gonna do is just double into... He stayed in. <sighs> he predicted all over the place here. Why? That was such a... I could've just drain punched and destroyed this man's life. 
If I get this out of the way, I can actually win with Musharna. I don't know why the fuck he did that. Well, no reason not to go for Ice Punch here. If he goes Mantine, that's whatever. I mean, what are you gonna do about that? Why do I have Ice Punch in this tier? What does that hit? Thunder Punch would be nice, actually. Or something else. Something other than Ice Punch. I have no idea what that hits. And he stayed in again! What is he doing? Friend? Alright, now I just set up with Musharna and win. Thanks. <laughs> I think this is faster, but even if he hits me with a knockoff, I have Cold Burberry. And I have Moonlight, so good luck with that. Like, I guess the only other thing that can break this is like... Oh, well, he has, he has Mantine, which is also an issue. But I can also just Baton Pass... Oh, yo, yo, I can call... I can baton pass all of my Calm Minds into Sceptile, I didn't realize this. That's actually really, really nice. So it doesn't matter if Mantine toxics me, I can just Calm Mind a few times, go into uh, uh, Sceptile, and it's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, not, not bad, not bad at all. Mm, I want to make this faster than like... How fast is uh, Malamar? I should probably check. Seventy-three. So one eighty-three is the speed to hit. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So that way I can hit it with a signal beam before like superpowers or something like that. Alright, so he does go into uh, Mantine. He's in a Toxic, yup, standard fare. Ah, oh, nice, I have Synchronize. So now I even, I now, now I win with um, Sceptile even more. Unless he's like Scarf, uh, Mag Mortar, or something really odd like that. Another thing he could do is going to, is go into Girder. <laughs> Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Well, now it's a uh, good game. Good, ga good game, friend. Ah. <laughs> that was unnecessary, but like, I wanted to do that. I don't even kill my mortar. I don't have anything for that. I have I have rock slide and I have HP ice. Um, HP ice kills this. It has to. Gone. <laughs> Goes into McMortar. Uh, that's fine. As long as I weaken this, I kind of win. Uh, this should kill. Come on, man. Fucking lord. Okay, he choked and went for psychic. Nice. Um, I'm gonna go for Gigard right now in case he. Because if he doubled into Girder, then I lost. Why does he keep going for Psychic? I guess he choked and didn't use a. Uh... Oh, so that's why. Because he wanted some Rock Punch. That didn't, that didn't even kill. Gone. So he choked that. He threw that really badly. All he had to do was press Fire Move and hope that I missed. And after that, I won because Musharna beats. 1v1 because I do have the Culberberry and I think even Steelix at that point could take a hit. Uh, yeah, Spikes really hurt my team after I lost uh, Hitmonchan, so I don't know what the fuck he was doing. But that resulted in another win that I probably didn't deserve. And also, he sacked Cacturn. I don't know why he sacked that. That thing could have done work. Another team that Sceptile just sort of runs through, but I don't think he's gonna. He might not lead Archaeops. Uh, good luck, have fun. What would he lead with on this team? This thing is really threatening, this uh, Obama Snow. Uh, I have switch-ins to Archeops, so I'm thinking about leading Little Mac, or Hitmonchan, yeah. Uh, I don't know why it's named that, I think that's from the import, from the original import. <sighs> is this thing even... Okay, it's hasty. Once I get enough damage on Obama Snow, 
Sceptile just sort of sweeps. The problem is that my switch in is Lantern. Alright, nice, nice. So, if I'm real, I go for two Rock Slides. I'm feeling real. I'm, I'm gonna predict as a, a Bombus, though. Why would he go into this? Oh, I guess this sort of sweeps as well. Or not sweeps, it, um... Kills me. Uh, he's gonna go for Pursuit, I'm pretty sure. Sure of that. Oh, he made an unnecessary double. Alright. That looks Scarfed. That looks scarf. It could also be rocks. Uh, I'm gonna fire off a Leaf Storm just to get this thing out of here. Now if he goes into... Now he has no rocks, which is amazing. Unless it's uh, Sand Slash has rocks. I didn't think of that. Now I'm going uh, Steelix as he pursues me. Doesn't do that much. And um, now I'm just gonna EQ, honestly. As he goes into this, does negligible damage. I have nothing for this. I'm gonna go for Toxic. Okay, so this is his rocker. A fucking course. Of course! I want this Toxic for my uh, my thingy, my, my Zard. Thank you. Now, this thing is gonna do jack shit to my Steelix. I don't know if they carry Swords Dance. That would make sense. Nothing. Zero. Zero. Alright, now I'm gonna go into Hitmonchan on the, on the Rapid Spin. Do my own rapid spin. Earthquake's gonna do a hell of a lot, but after that I can go for um, I can go for ice punch, nice and easy. This doesn't really do much to his team anyway. I mean, Obama Snow has ice shard, Photo has aqua jet, this has sucker punch, Archeops outspeeds. speeds. This literally does zero, so might as well kill the rocker and the spinner at the same time. And not a lot in his team enjoys taking Drain Punch if I decided to have gone for that. As he chooses to just kill me. Alright, not bad. Um, he's probably going to go into something with priority just because Sceptile is such a threat to his team. I need to get Skunk, skunk Tank out of here, man. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really take that into account when team building. Because Musharna is just really not having a good time with that. I have switch ins to Archeops, so this is the play, honestly. Um, I'm just going to fire off a Flare Blitz for the Archeops. Go on to Steelix, nice and easy. He's He wouldn't go for Earthquake here. like. I mean, then again, he doesn't have a reason not to, but on the off chance that I might stay in. Okay, so he's like Scarfed then? Interesting, interesting. So I guess he could go to Fozo. That could be special or physical. Which, I mean, I have a switch into that. Lantern do takes absolutely nothing from uh, Grass Knot. Okay, so he chooses to go into this. That's fine. Hmm. Mosharna doesn't actually do much, so I'm going to go ahead and try and sack it here. Because it's the only thing that can take a hit from this monster. Holy shit, that did so much damage. Oh, so it's sub, okay. At least I know that much now. Now it's a good thing I didn't heal up or try and do anything fancy like that. Uh, I wish I had DD instead of SD. Oh well. Gonna go for acrobatics just cause it's the most optimal option here. Those Archeops, Bop. Will he U-turn? That's the question. If he goes Obama Snow, if he U-turns and goes Obama Snow again, I have to sack. So I'm gonna be a man. I'm gonna go for acrobatics. He could always miss, so that's all. <laughs> oh, he went for Roost, so he's not scarfed. He's um. Alright, now I'm definitely going into Steelix, because I don't want to risk this thing just yet. And I want my rocks up. If he power predicts me and goes for U-turn here, then he's a lord, I don't know what else to say. Ugh, should I go for Flare Blitz? I expected it to be Scarfed. He's not undefeated, so if he has Earthquake, then... 
and I'm gone. Taunt? Are you kidding me? I don't want him going Floatzel, so... Honestly, I'm just going to, I'm just going to Earthquake. Because he, he's going to expect the Heavy Slam and he's going to go into... Yup. Gone. Ha ha ha! rated. Now I can just go into um, Lantern. Now I have the momentum. See, this is how you get, get that momentum. Because now he's, he's more pressured to value the Floatzel. And... Um, Lantern's a clean, clean counter to that. And that can just go ahead. He has to double in order to regain the momentum. But there's really no use in like staying in. Like a real like try hard play for me is to go, to is to go for a heavy slam here. As yeah, he just goes for the um, hydro pump. Grass knot does nothing. Okay, so this is specs. I can just volt switch on, on out of there. And uh, hmm. What do I do? I can go into... Yeah, I can go into this. As he just goes into Stun Tank. And honestly, I'm just gonna go for Leaf Storm. I think he's gonna pursue me, honestly. And I need damage on this so I can KO it with Charizard. Besides, what would I actually go into now that I think about it? Damn, he goes, he goes for Sucker Punch. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad indeed. And I have to go this. And I have to go for Scald. Side, not enough. That did nothing. Is that an AV? What the fuck is that? I'm just gonna Earthquake because I think he's gonna expect the SD here. Yup. Got him. Damn, Steelix is low. Steelix is really low. I think I have to count on a miss, but I'm not really certain. He could also U-turn out of there, which I don't know what to do. If he U-turns, I think I win. I mean, if he has Earthquake, either way I lost, so I think it's worth making this play. Man, I played so bad. Letting my uh, Sceptile get weakened like that. Because right here it would have actually come through. Yeah, he's sort of thinking about it. Oh, he has Taunt. He doesn't even have Earthquake. So here I think it's in his best favor to go... Ah, oh, fuck. I lost. I have lost. Yep, GG. I don't even know if I could have taken two Acrobatics. So that was the only play to make. Because I didn't have my leftovers anymore. Alright, so it has a Regirox or a Mesprit. Unfortunately, I don't have much to keep him from getting a Brox with the, with the Regirock. He also has no ground type, which means it is the, uh, it's time for the Volt Switch. I'm getting this burn. Damn it. I'm scum. Let me catch this burn real quick. He's going into Sceptile. It's fine by me. Damn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna power predict. I'm actually gonna do it. I'm gonna go for the uh, Volt Switch. On whatever he wants to go for. I doubt he would. Oh, he did. Okay. Lovely. And now I go for Ice Punch on the Rotom. Damn, I'm about to lose again because I've been just playing recklessly. Especially because I think I needed that Lantern for, um, for Charizard. Damn, he loses nothing by U-turning. Oh, okay, never mind. Now I can just go for the nice... Uh... He probably has Taunt. So I'm gonna go for Toxic. Just to sort of test the water, see if he'll go into... Oh, he went Charizard, okay. Uh, catch these rocks real quick. <laughs> no reason not to. Oh, he's special. That is interesting indeed. So he's special. Lantern is useless, so I might as well sack that. And then, um... Sceptile is kind of a threat to his, to his team. I'm gonna go for the nice rock slide, you probably won't see it coming, might think I'm physical. And then when he goes into that Mesprit, 
gone. He could also go into Regirock, which I can just uh, Giga Drain. So I think this is my win con in the end. It's just a nuking with Leaf Storm. Alright, get about. That did nothing! What? I should. Oh, I forgot this thing had Thunder Wave! Why? Why would you do this to me? Well, I just sacked my win con. Amazing. And I don't even have Dragon Dance, so I actually lose now on to his own Sceptile. Unless I can get something going with Musharna. And even then, he has his fucking Rotom. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh, and he's this, he's sub. Which is really, really annoying. I don't know what to do. I have to go into this and let it get will o -Wisp, probably. Even if he gets Wisp, though, I think I can still take the sub out. Never mind, I have lost. Ah, oh, I forgot that was a set. I got fucking eviscerated. All right, this team, his team doesn't look that good. Evi is not that good. Basculin's like, eh. It's not the. I really need something to deal with Mesper. God damn. Or something with like a dark or, or ghost move. I was about to say shadow move. I've been out of this game way too long. I'm calling it that. You know what? I'm tired. I'm just gonna go into this and uh, and SD up. He might switch out thinking I'm special. Never mind. I was about to say, don't get the poison now. That is so much. And that did so. What did I do last time? 54? Uh. What are these rolls? Come on! And he went for. Pain split of all things. Alright, he's obviously going for Aqua Jet here, so I see no reason not to go to. Yeah, not to go to this. And just go for Skull because I see an Electivire. <laughs> he actually went to it. <laughs> Come on, why do you have Earth? Oh my god. Well, now I get to fire off Flare Blitz, so I'm not even mad. Or Earthquake. Earthquake is fine too. Yeah, that's why. Uh, going to Masharna here real quick. He's got a life part, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh... Okay, I guess you can do that too. But now I can fire off another Acrobatics. Get hit with all of that. But why do you have Bullet Punch? It didn't even kill. Yo, this Pokemon can actually, can actually do that work. Uh, I'm gonna predict him not to. Never mind. Nice, nice. This actually tears through his team. Not even bad. I can just go for Giga Drain. This is not not a counter. Is it? Was this was Life Orb last time, right? Had to be. Nope, it was Scarfed. <laughs> I stand corrected. What would he use here? Like, Flamethrower? What is Charizard still useful for? Nothing. Might as well sack it. He used Ice Punch. Okay. Alright. I see you. Get up these rocks real quick. So you die upon switching. I could set up on this, actually, now that I think about it. And I don't see my resists. <laughs> I mean, this is still useful. Um, Musharna is not, so I'll just go into that. Superpower, hello? <laughs> Friend? Goes into Mesprit, Tom pass out of there. Go into this, Erp. Catch this Toxic real quick. So I'm guessing this is the Stealth Rocker, which is why I'm going for Toxic. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, calm down. That did too much. And that did nothing. I'm glad I saved this. Or am I glad? 
Um, going into Hitmon Hitmonchan just because I don't need it for much other than this. That did zero. And now I actually, I think I sweep him. Nope, no I don't, never mind. Um, this is good for... Again, I think Mushan is the sack here. Use Aqua Jet, okay. And uh, now I sweep him. Okay, just sack that. That's fine, that's fine. I still need this, so I'll just switch out into Hitmonchan. Actually, no, 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 wait, 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 wait! <laughs> if he killed Hitmonchan, I could actually lose to this. Because uh, my, my thingy, my Steelix is weakened. Oh, I stay making bad plays, not paying attention to my, to my shit. Alright, good game. Unless he crits or something. So he wasn't choiced after all. That's good to know. And I think we're going to go ahead and catch the last one of the live man. Ooh, this man's got a threatening ass team. But I think Charizard might be able to come through once I get rid of the... The Sceptile. Yeah, that sounds fine. Um, sounds about right. Hmm. What do I even lead off with on this team? I, I don't think he has a reason not to lead Steelix. As he leads this, I'm pretty sure these run Rock Slide. Just because mine has it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Musharna. Oh, as he switches out. Not bad. Hmm. If I get up a Calm Mind and go into my own Sceptile, could actually do some work. Could actually do some work. I want a Psychic here just to break the Sturdy. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted. Now get up the rocks, get up the rocks. Yup. Yum. Give me all your health back. Or go into Ninetales, better yet. Uh, this is probably not going to sweep, but I'm hoping it'll, it'll at least punch some holes into his team. <sighs> will, will it even kill? It's a plus one plus life orb. That did so much damage. Now I can just kill this with Leaf Storm. Nice, nice. So now that's out of the way. Another thing gone for my Charizard to eventually sweep. I don't want this thing setting up, so I'm just going to go for Rock Slide. Uh, don't see a reason not to. Oh my god. Flinch. Nice. nice. Didn't expect me to have it. So now I can go for another one. As DJ Khaled said. Hopefully it hits. Hmm. Catch this HP Ice. HP Ice doesn't affect speed, does it? Does not. Alright, so he won that speed tie. Uh, I'm gonna go for Rock Slide again, just in case he tries to go into like Zatu for some reason or something. And my Sceptile was just putting in work this game, as I do not. That's really annoying that I didn't get that. Because now I have to go into my uh, thing here. And I think I'm just going to go for Rapid Spin, because yeah, he goes into this. And I don't know what my counter is. Lantern, probably? And then, um... Oh, shit. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Do I lose? I think I lose. I have to burn. Damn. It. Okay, he choked. He choked. He didn't go for another one. Because now my Zard outspeeds, I go for Acrobatics, Bop. He should have roosted there. I guess he was afraid of catching that nice burn. <laughs> Wait, did he actually think that he would get something out of that? Friend? I need to get that Zatu out of here, man. Uh, my own Lantern's completely free in this scenario. As I can just go for a, uh, a Scald of my own. No problem there. So he's like offensive or something? I don't know what the hell that is. But I can just go for Drain Punch here. I don't want to mess around with this and I do want to get a weaken for my Zard. If he goes to Zatu, not a big deal. Or it might be, I don't know. 
He's called mine, Jesus. Um, he's he's gonna roost here, so my best play is by far just going to Zard. Yup. I think I win, honestly. Yeah, I just EQ and win, because he went to this. Erp. They don't really run. Yep, I won. Ah, uh, Nazar coming through in the very end. Just how I wanted. So I hope you all enjoyed this um, tidbit of Pokemon. Haven't played in a while. Wanted to try out something that I don't usually do. And y'all can go ahead and leave a comment and subscribe. And also, an announcement for a new video. So, I've been mulling over this for a couple of days now. I think I am going to make... After all, another video on, not necessarily just on Verlicify, but on another issue that he was talking about. Um, it's going to be a response to his video on Ray Rizzo and his appearance on a certain VGC panel. And he got all pissy about it because he has a small dick and is insecure about his own skill. And he wanted his whole tirade about the Dream Ball Aegislash thing. Um, I don't know if you'll remember that from a couple of years ago that Ray Rizzo was caught using a so-called... Well, no, it was a hacked Aegislash, but the only thing illegal about it was the Pokeball it was in. I'm sure you all don't remember because nobody gives a fuck about that anymore. But apparently he does, and he felt the need to make a video basically explaining to us why Ray Rizzo would, shouldn't have been on that panel, even though, in case you guys didn't know, he's a three-time world champion. And it was just so ridiculous to me how he tried to discredit him. And I think it does merit a video, even though I sort of posted the end all of Verlis videos on this channel. But it's not really about him. It's about the whole issue of genning and soft hacking in general, and how it involves even players like Ray Rizzo, who we know are good. Like. The stats on the Age of Slash were not altered, it was just the Pokeball. There's nothing there was nothing about that Age of Slash that gave him a competitive advantage. And here with that and even with that, we have this asshole trying to um, boost his ego essentially, even if he isn't really doing it consciously by trying to bring down this uh, this amazing VGC player. So I'll see you all next time.